Hi, I want to do a mid-October energy update and share with you what I've been picking up on for myself, my family, and the people that I'm working with. Hi, if you're new to my channel, I am Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach. And what I do is help people to release the subconscious programming that is preventing them from stepping into their full potential to live a life they love. And that's my website, lovemylife.coach. So it's all about holding this high vibration so that you can manifest all that you want in your life, releasing, changing, evolving the old energies that have been holding you back and have been running the program in the back of your mind, subconscious mind, you know, um, shifting that so that you can now move into what supports you in your life. And so um, I do have a meditation below that's free and it's reprogramming your subconscious mind. You might want to check that out. And also I'd love you to subscribe, like, share and comment. But now let's get into the energy update. All right, so as far as the energy and what's going on during this month of October, um, what you may be feeling at the moment, uh, it could just be a, a number of things. <laughs> One thing I know I'm finding for myself too is um, the energy is, well, okay, I had to share this crystal with you today because this one just wanted to, to join me and uh, and I'll tell you why I think that that is in a moment. Um, but what I'm finding, at least in my own immediate family, is, um, you know, the, the, so this energy is moving like really rapidly. Things are changing, progressing with the planetary vibration changes um, that are affecting us in our human bodies, trying to keep up with it. I know for my son, he hasn't been able to fall asleep before like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Uh, for like a week now, um, my husband is on the other side of that. He's like feeling really um, low energy, unusually low energy. So uh, we're just processing. Everybody has their different way of processing how this energy is coming through and shifting and in our bodies trying to catch up with it. So part of, I think, raising to that higher level, that higher frequency is purging of lower energies. So that may make you feel like my husband's feeling very kind of drained, kind of low energy thing. Um, for my son, I think for him, he's just feeling more of holding more energy to where he can't just shut it down and um, just fall asleep, <laughs> right? Me, the way I've been having it come across more is... Um, think a little bit more of being in that place and I've done a video on this before uh, on like uh, how do you know when your manifestation is is really about to take place and that is when you feel like it's just not gonna happen so I know I've had this thing I've been working on and and it feels like I get actually a few times I thought I don't know maybe I should just give it up but I know better right so I'm not giving it up um, I know it's just right there there and then I am to processing this stuff out of the way that um, needs to be cleared before this can just come in and I feel like that's what's gonna happen for a lot of us things are just gonna like all of a sudden shift like just quickly into the direction of this um, higher vibrational place where that you want to be where the things that you're working on and manifesting want to come through. So I think what compelled me to hold, and, and also I'm finding this with the people that I'm working with as well. Like there's a lot of um, things going on where stuff is coming up to be released. And of course, that's what I do for them, uh, help release that, but also have this understanding. And also even more of this awakening. Yeah, another part of this is they're feeling their connection to spirit stronger. Like really, that's opening up too, more so. And I guess it's because um, the veils are thinning, right? Between the seen and the unseen. So, you know, we have spirit all around us. And now is a great time for you to really open to that more because it's a little easier to make the connection because the energy is so there. And I actually 
feel it in my voice as I'm speaking right now. It's if they're pushing me behind saying, yeah, yeah, go for it. Let them know we're waiting for you, you know? Talk to spirit, have them assist you in your creations and all that. But okay, so back to the crystal. Um, so the clear quartz gives you a lot of energy. So I find I like to hold on to clear quartz, especially when I meditate uh, in my left hand because that's the receiving side. And I like to hold on to something like um, black obsidian in my left hand. So uh, here, I'll show you this one. It's actually a golden sheen, right? So, and it's, in, it's carved to, to a heart because to me, everything is love, right? I love it, hearts and love energy. So um, I'll hold this one in the left. And, and even a lot of times when I work, I'll always have like either this guy or some other big clear quartz or citrine. I've got a huge citrine right down there um, that I'll use. I've got crystals all over the place. But I find that they support me in processing energy. So when I meditate, um, the clear quartz allows me to bring that good energy in. It kind of like generates more of that to come through for me and to absorb into my body. And then... On the, on the right hand, allowing that the lower energies to process out, like the stone will actually absorb it, you know? Um, and then you can clear your crystals. But actually, this is not a video about clearing crystals. This is an energy update. Um, but I'm just giving you that tip that you might find that if you're struggling with some of the energies, feeling them in the way that I was, in um, you know, almost being discouraged on some things that I'm working on, but you know, luckily I know better. I know it's just right there, right on the other side, you know? And uh, okay, so I've also had some physical things too, like headaches, I never get headaches. Or even more awareness of feeling energy coming in. Now I may not always, actually most of the time, I can't always decipher like what it is that's actually coming through me, but I can tell how it feels and it's very um, uplifting. Like I have a sense of, just knowing, oh, I don't know what that was. Like sometimes even you just kind of feel like almost like a mini earthquake, like like something shifts, <laughs> shakes even. But even though it's not doing that for anybody else, um, I know I'm just I just received a download, right? Or I just get some shiver through my spine, or just like a head to toe, like goosebumpy feeling, randomly. I'm not meditating, I'm not, whatever, it just comes. I know, okay, okay, it's more, I'm being attuned to this higher frequency of energy. So, um, I think that's all I'll share with this. It's just like a middle of the month. I didn't do one at the beginning of the month this month. I don't know why, I guess I was maybe stuck in that lower place, I don't know. <laughs> or just too busy because I was working on a bunch of things, getting a course uh, to be, you know, let out to the public. So, um, yeah, that's probably why. Um, anyway, so, be gentle with yourself. Maybe you want to use crystals to help you to process some of this energy that's moving through your system as we um, align with this shifting vibration of the planet. Um, yeah. Just be gentle with yourself, you know? Practice self-love. Share your love with other people because it always lifts you up and it always makes everything so much smoother. And since the planet is going into a higher vibration, well, you know, love is a high vibration. So see if you can deliberately spend more time in that energy of love and see how that plays out for you through the rest of October. And then uh, we'll check in again in November. So I'll see you on another video.